Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Boy, do I have a video for you today. It's track presets in Studio One, one of my absolute favorite features. And I don't know why I waited so long to make a video about them. Because there's questions in the comments that I read all the time, like, can you load virtual instrument presets with the entire effect chain, the routing, the output channels and so forth with one single drag and drop or a single key press, like a hotkey? Or could you even do that with entire song templates? I had many people write me that they use the same kind of instruments all the time and they just want to be able to load them regardless of the session that they're currently in. And all of that is possible with track presets. They make it so easy to create your own library of presets, no matter how complex they are. And this is what I want to show you today. So I'm here right now in Studio One Six Professional and I have just a small song with different sounds that I'd like to use in other productions too. For example, the Impact XT track here is actually a multi-output instrument with different output configurations so that I can mix the kick, snare, hats, percussions and cymbals independently from each other. They're all coming from this drum sampler Impact XT inside of Studio One that's triggering various samples. And if you're wondering why I have six channels here in the mixer console, but just one track here in the arrangement that's also named differently than all of the channels, then you should watch my Tracks and Channels video in Studio One. I'm going to link that right here, which explains that Studio One channels and tracks do not have to be the same thing and why that is. So I find it super convenient that the Impact XT track here, this single track, is actually capable of triggering all of these outputs in the mixer console. Right, And I don't have to see any of these um, in the arrangement because there would just be volume lanes without any actual song information. So I don't want to have that in the arrangement. The arrangement is for song information only. And if I want to mix various channels, I go to the mixer console. But that's just my approach. You can do it also in the traditional Pro Tools way by going to the Studio One preferences to advanced and automation and taking the automatically create automation tracks for channels box. When this is active, then any new channel that you're adding is also adding a track here in the mixer console. Even if you're not planning on doing any automation for that track, it's still there. So to me, it's just clutter, but you might disagree. And so we have both options available inside of Studio One. Okay, so that's just a side note. So that's the Impact XT that I've loaded up here with various samples. And I also have different input trims. I could also do different pan settings if I wanted to. I also have certain track color set and a track icon. And all of that is going to be remembered as a track preset. And all I need to do for that is either to right click here and then click store track preset. Then I can give it a name and decide a subfolder, like for example, my own presets. Or I can also just go to the instrument browser here inside of Studio One and then just drag this track onto the track preset folder. This will do the same thing. And this lets me basically use this Impact XT drum kit in all of my productions going forward. So if I was in an entirely new song, let's just open up a brand new song here. I can just drag that out and it's gonna add the same instrument with the same track icon, the same track color, all of the output channels and all of the used samples in one single drag and drop motion. And I can also do that with multiple track presets at a time by either packing them into a folder and adding that folder as a track preset that's actually also possible or my preferred method with a hotkey as I'm going to show you in just a moment. So this would allow you to get the entire song template loaded into any session that you're currently working on. Amazingly powerful in my opinion. Okay, so let's check out the next track. Here I actually have have a synth bass loaded, it sounds like this. With just a low cut here so that the sub bass is a little bit more cleaned up. And that's pretty much all that I have on this. So I could just drag that in and from that point forward, it's already saved as a track preset. Simple as that to create your very own library of your favorite sounds, no matter in how many buses they go or no matter how many insert effects you have applied. If you have like multi-band processing with the splitter, all of that is being remembered and then recalled like it's nothing. And to emphasize that, I have a super complex routing here on my last channel, which is the synth bell step 
setup. This is a presence preset, but this would also work with all of your VST2, VST3 plugins and instruments as well, by the way. And that goes into a pretty complex channel routing here with a splitter applied. The splitter is actually dividing the channel signal into a left and a right channel. And then they're going into different pedal boards, which is a collection of various famous guitar pedals that we have inside of Empire. As you can see, it's also a separate plugin inside of Studio and Professional here. And I went ahead and saved all of this stuff by just dragging this track again here into the browser. And what I also want to point out as I'm dragging this back into an entirely new song is that even the transpose setting here inside of the track inspector was recalled because I want to play this sound at a higher octave and I don't want to switch octaves here on my controller all the time that just has a couple of keys like 32 I believe it is. And so I make sure that I always play the bell in the octave that it's supposed to be played. Sounds pretty cool in 80s, just like myself. And uh, now I want to show you how you can actually recall a batch of instrument track presets that go well together at once with either a hotkey here on your computer keyboard or with a MIDI button. And that is possible using probably my favorite feature in Studio One, macros. They are true efficiency boosters. And let me show you how you can set this up for track presets. You're going to be amazed. A macro is basically just a succession of multiple keys keyboard shortcuts triggered by only one keyboard shortcut. And so it can be used to consolidate redundant tasks and make them a whole lot faster. And you can access them by clicking here at the top where it says Studio One and going to the macro organizer. And pro users of Studio One will notice that since recently the macro organizer has its own search bar and sortable tabs here, which is very, very important as your library of macros is growing over time. So this was much requested and is finally here in Studio One. But this time we're just going to click on new. And this allows us to search the entire library of Studio One keyboard shortcuts available to create our own sequence. And the keyboard shortcut or the command that we need is called load track preset. We add that with a double click. And we can see that after we've added it, to our macro sequence, we can actually double click it again, indicated by the argument name. This means that we can enter something here to specify this command further. And in this case, we can just enter the exact name of the preset that we want to load as Studio One is going to load it up. So for example, if I want to load the Impact XT drum kit that we saved in the very beginning of this video, I just have to make sure that I'm typing this name exactly as it's appearing here inside of Studio One's browser. So that would be Impact XT. Hit OK. And now I can double click load track preset again to build a sequence. You see where I'm going with this. And this can be called base. Now the track preset base would be loaded up. And if I now double click again, I can load up the final sound, synth, bell, step. And now I have all three sounds that I had in my other song that's currently open. And I can load these up with the press of a button in any other session that I want to. I can give this like a quick song template title. So I can assign it then to a keyboard shortcut. And once I hit OK, I can search quick song template here in the macro organizer and with a double click on the shortcut field directly assign a keyboard shortcut to it. In my case that's going to be a bit difficult. I only have these weird German letters available still on my keyboard. I have so many keyboard shortcuts assigned. But anyway, now I hit assign, apply and OK. I can also hit just OK as somebody pointed out correctly. And now in any session that I have open, I just hit one key and it's loading up all of the sounds. Isn't that cool? with all of the track icons, all of the output configurations, and I'm ready to record. Just like that. Hopefully I was able to show you today how insanely powerful these track presets can be in Studio One to recall any kinds of virtual instruments and effect routings or effects chains. And hopefully this is going to be an efficiency boost for your workflow going forward. Thank you for watching.